Pro. Here. Welcome to my first and only 2023 stream, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's what. Ah, that's whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, I, I guess that's what. What this is partially about. So we have confirmation that RNG Mana works on real console. Mike, so CD Romatron has tested the World Five Mana for the yellow cards. Um, that works on real hardware. So I, I'm genuinely 99% confident that this will work. But until uh, I did it, we wouldn't know, so I guess that's why we're here. Well, guess that's why I'm here. Not sure about you, of course. a small mistake there's a slight optimization where if you don't if you don't shoot any of the rip talks in the first mini game in the GP mini game then the sequence of cards in this shop will always be the same doesn't matter as much because as you saw not getting the fast one loses seconds four five um, still it's nice to have you um, well, you, I, I shouldn't have shot that rip dog. Force of, ha force of habit. Also, right now the splits look fairly, no fairly normal, but due to the rather complicated route, um, I have everything basically written out in life split in a somewhat cryptic manner but still there, there will be weird subsplits later on which are which the, the purpose of which is solely to remind me what the fuck I have to do <laughs> that's a you know that one is a fair warning I guess also I have to say it's <laughs> yes, exactly. I was have to say it's it's crazy how slow this game is. So because because it did a lot of testing just to figure out a route that works, um, and because it did that on emulator, I played all the mini games at two or three times speed. Just because the mini games are not the main purpose of the testing, it's more about gems and which cards to get and so on. So I I'm used to everything being two or three times as fast, at least the mini games. So I'm falling more asleep than usually when playing the tank mini games.
So right, right now everything is fairly normal. We'll play the first world as usual. And only after we beat the first boss we return to do the first RNG mana and do the first job. And then the, yeah, the new part really starts. Like we, we already differ from the original route. But only slightly, like th there hasn't been any mana yet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, funnily enough, I don't have to reset the whole, restart the whole console. It's enough to soft reset. Um, that's that's pressing A, B, start and select at the same time. It basically restarts the game and not the whole console. Console still it's enough to set the RNG C to one. So that's. A bit faster. I think throughout the route we are rest uh, restarting or soft resetting six times. Think. Which is fairly quick, it's like 10 seconds per thing, so it's. Given the time save, we should gain. Um, should be fine. Yeah, so there's, um, in principle, there's nine shops in this game. However, four of those we just we just buy cards. There's there is randomness, but it's not worth to do manips. Um, and the other five shops we all will manipulate, but we only have to go there once. So we need five manips plus one, because the final shop we have to manip twice. Because we'll get, the, uh, we'll go there twice. But yeah, six, six resets with varying degrees of time save. Although, I mean, the time save will of course be nice, uh, even like way more than nice. But the the real benefit of doing all these manips will be consistency. Because the the reason this category used to be uh, used to be terrible is that you could go, get to the end and then one of the shops like the randomness doesn't want to cooperate and you lose. It's it's just over. Nothing you can do. Well, that was atrocious. Fine. Okay, so now we do this and now we do the first thing. That's two flame, yes, okay. So this with a little bit can't speak. This will be the first potential roadblock. Because I need some rather precise inputs in the shop itself. Like not on the way to getting like to getting there, that's fine. Okay, that's four. Yep, I'm on the right seed. That's two. That's one. That's three. And the last one, that's uh, the hardest. Because you have the least time. Yeah, perfect. Five. Okay. And that was the first job. <laughs> it's, bro, it's, it, it's genuinely crazy. It's genuinely crazy that this works. Okay. Now we're doing... Uh, uh, now we're doing some... Platforming. Same in, in the old road. We just have to collect all the unique... Overworld gems. Sometimes they're called large gems. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Squid. Thanks for the good luck. So 
So as I said, this is, this is the same as in the old route. We have to collect all the unique overworld gems because doing so gives you um, a card which cannot be obtained otherwise. I mean, it's not okay, it's slow, but whatever. This, this is not primarily about speed, but more about doing the thing. Seeing how it works, getting to know the route a bit better. Well, the initial route. I'm, I'm fairly certain that the route will change over time. This is basically a first draft. Now, there's a somewhat difficult jump here. Ha! <laughs> First try! I struggled so much with this jump on emulator, it's, it's honestly crazy. Thank you. That is the obvious question. Sadly, it does not. Sadly, in Crash Fusion, but that has been long for, uh, known for a long time. In Crash Fusion, the developers were smart and made the RNG update every frame. So you can, the, the, the RNG seed is not influenced by anything that happens in the game. It's just once every frame, the RNG seed updates. Which, I mean, you can still manipulate the RNG in testing, but in, in RTA, it doesn't uh, doesn't work. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a good point. I don't know why. Like, why would they do this? I guess different dev teams worked on it. Eventually, uh, not eventually. Initially, maybe. I I I don't know. I'm just. I'm just talking out of my ass, really. So did I... Yeah. No, I didn't split. Whatever. I'll just uh, skip the split in a second. Because I have to uh, look at the route details. Because after this... Not directly after this, but shortly after this we'll be manipulating again. In the in the co-op run, crash was slower. That's true because of the limbo warp and the fact that we like we have had this new route where we just buy the cards instead of playing everything three times. Um, so there it doesn't help. It it still helps. Okay, the the, the answer is a bit more subtle. Because there, there are there are two completionist categories. There's the Crash Fusion Corp and the Spiral Fusion Corp. You might think, well, it's Corp with each other. It's the same thing. Uh, but actually, it's not. And the reason for that is that... Um, if you do the Crash Fusion run, like if you focus on the Crash Fusion Corp completion, then in Spyro Fusion you don't have to do full completion. You, you only have to get all the cards because that's what the Crash game is missing for the 200% thing. Um, if you do Spyro full completion, then you don't only need all the cards, you even need a bit more. You have to play every minigame three times. That counts towards the percentage counter. So while that's true, it doesn't help for the Crash Co-op run. It does help for the Spyro Co-op run, kind of counterintuitively. If that wasn't clear, please say so, I can, well, like, I'll gladly explain it again. It's, as I said, it's not that, it's not that obvious. But this is, bottom line, this is helpful even in the Co-op run. At least part of the Co-op run. <laughs> this is also helpful in, like, it, it's basically helpful in all, ah, that's cool. um, all completions categories. Like also in 
113, where you have to play every minigame three times. It's just that the route would be different. This route is tailored specifically such that all the cards we would get from playing everything three times, we just buy in shops. And subsequently, the route for gems is also different. Like we have to consider where to get all the money, which we need to buy the cards, you know? So, um, in that way, 113 would be different from 120 cards. Oh, I don't have a modern chat, do I? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Sphere, why are you not a mod? What are you... <laughs> Stream big. Fucking... Can I do this? Okay, mod... Sphere... M... J... Ah, yeah, I did exclamation mark, I should have been slash. Fuck. Mod... Here, M, J. I think I did it. Sure, you now have the power. Or you should have the power at least. Okay. <laughs> like this guy. Well, I, I can I can just ban you. You know that. <laughs> It's not a democracy here if you don't do what I tell you to. Uh, you have to go. It's that simple, bro. <laughs> uh, nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Come on, there is one more card. There we go. Nine. Uh, and now I do the thing. Okay, this is an RNG zero manip. Uh, right. Yes, it is. That's true. Pass Toka, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> just have to be careful to not flame or else I have to do the man up again. Wouldn't lose that much time, I just have to be... I just have to remember, basically. Yeah, so... <laughs> MMLRM, yeah, it's, it's obvious. It, act it actually will become uh, clear once I'm at the shop. Uh, because th these are instructions for the vase shuffle shop here. But for now, it's it's mathematical notation that nobody gets. <laughs> yeah, so RNG zero means that I'm currently on like I'm currently on the un initial RNG that you have after restarting the game, which is w the value one. But as I said, the the value doesn't matter as long as as it's the same value every time. And interestingly, so I'm, I'm, I have to pay attention to not do any wrong things right now, so the RNG seed stays the same. Uh, inter interestingly, flaming on the overworld is one of the very few things that influence the RNG. Um, there are some things like uh, killing certain enemies in minigames advances the RNG. In the pinball minigame, every time the ball hits, Spyro, the RNG advances by one or two, depending on what you do. Um, but for example, in the, in the tank minigame, this one right here, or any tank minigame, the RNG never advances. Doesn't matter what you do, just it stays the same, which is is good for us. Also, in the overworld, certain enemies can advance the RNG. Like, there, there will be a flamethrower guy later on, for example, who, whenever he shoots fire, like whenever that animation starts, the RNG advances by two calls. Okay, 
I, I really have to. <laughs> I'm really careful to not flame by accident here. I'm here because we need the money. Okay, now. Ideally, the middle vase should give me a card now. Yes, I'm still on seed zero. Perfect. Yeah, that's gems. That's correct. Now the left one is a card. The right one is a card. And the middle one is a card. And now we can limbo back up. Perfect. Yeah, that's honestly that's the best part. Like I just know which ways to pick. This this will become little spoiler. This will become even more beautiful in World Three. The shop in World 3 is even... It used to be the worst. On, it used to be the worst. Because it's it's straight up gambling. But now that we know what happens... It looks like we'll, we just pick correctly every time. Because that's what we do. We will pick correctly every time. <laughs> as long as I don't mess up, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Cool. Perfect boss, bro, what's going on? <laughs> okay, I should have like... 300... Yeah, okay. I, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good, because I do the... Yeah, mm -hmm. Just have to mentally... Adjust. <laughs> Chase game for easier winter. Should have answered. This is basically a new game at this point. But yeah, I'll, I'll certainly submit, submit this to Easy Jummer. Eh, Easy Jummer. Easy Summer. Um, maybe alongside the co op run. Uh, the old or the new one, doesn't matter. But honestly, I think this this has very high chances of getting in. Uh, given its technical craziness, like the fact that this is possible, I think that could be very cool to watch. Then again, I'm I'm biased, so. And I also submitted to Speedcon, of course, where the chance that it gets in is even higher. <laughs> it is a little niche, that's true. So I think... Um, I, I do believe that you have to sell this run well enough for it to be recognized. Oh, hey, Snake! Sorry, I didn't say hi. I saw you at. Uh, I saw you in chat, but I still focused on the run. Okay, small difference to the to what we did here uh, to to what we did in the past here. Three seventy, I think, is good. Um, we're now getting the gems first because we are a bit short on money now, and we need them to buy stuff. <laughs> I don't think I need these two, I'll just, I'll still get them. Okay, so 10 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Um, Yes, perfect.
As you saw, we now have exactly one gem left, and that's by design. The route is such that the money, the amount of money at this point is basically perfect. Yes, the game is actually lagging this much, because it cannot handle the background textures. Okay, now I soft reset. I th yes, I do. I do the... I just I do normal limbo here. Just to have to get the world too. Yes. I, I start a new game. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Okay. So this guy right here, that one down there, just shot fire that advances the RNG by two. But again, that's by design. This is part of the route. Okay, now I'm very careful. Going right there is also by design to make the RNG consistent. Hopefully, at least. Okay, so, right, yes, we're on the right seed, then left, middle, left, right, okay, flame once, right, middle, middle, Left twice. Right. Middle. Flame. Next one. This will be quite a long sequence. But given the minigame is so short, it actually evens out in the end. Middle. Middle. Then left twice. Left. Left. And now we start getting cards. Aku, thing, left. Now we flame three times. One, two, three. Uh, middle, right, right. And that's just to remind me to it's just to remind me to flame at the edge um, because that's that's faster there. Like jumping and flaming three times or even six times just takes time. You can't flame right away because flaming is on the same button as entering the shop. Now we, now we can flame, now it doesn't matter. Uh, current RNG manip is, is done. There's way more adrenaline in my blood right now than there reasonably should be. <laughs> I'll say that much. 
Like, the, the more I see this thing in action, like, happening for real, the more the realization sets in that this is happening. This is a thing that we're doing right now. The old route and all the randomness and all the lost runs, none of it is anymore. Just stop myself from grinning like a fucking idiot the whole time. <laughs> it to totally, it is. Just crazy. Okay. In World 4... Uh, that's... That's a minute we have to limbo to get the yellow gem. So the, the world for Manip that will come up in 10 minutes. Will be a bit more difficult. But we'll get to that once we're there. Why would you hurt me like that? Oh, we are friends. So for now, even even if I would mess up the the RNG manip in World Four, um, I can still repeat it. It's not such that the the run would be over or anything. Um, later, once the run becomes more optimized, then a single mistake in RNG manips could end the run. But for now. Um, Especially now that the vase shuffle thing is over, which would, a mistake would be very costly in terms of money. Um, but now that we have basically max money, um, mistakes aren't as grave. As that, at least for now, just to you know, to finish a run should be should be easy. I think the only real gatekeeper will be gem hop. As always, there's nothing that will ever change the fact that Gem Hop exists. And, like, Gem Hop is the hardest minigame in all of Spire Fusion. Cool. Now we buy cards. This guy here, for example, the guy in the bushes. He advances the RNG by one. Just random, random fact. That that's actually very helpful. Uh, will be very helpful later on. Because basically, advancing RNG by one means you're changing the parity of a number from even to odd. I think I have everything. Five seventy-three sounds good. Uh, right, we don't get that one. We first go down here. Sam, I wouldn't even know what that means. But still, I, I of course appreciate the message, as always. I 
I said it before and I'll say it again. These mini games are just absurdly slow right now. So when the stream start, started, I said that for all the route testing and everything, because route testing is about gem management and uh, which cards to get and so on. So the, the mini games themselves don't really matter. So I played all of them in two or even three times speed. Uh, just to get through them faster to see, you know, does this route work or not. So now that I'm back on one time speed, I'm, I'm wondering whether it always has been this slow. <laughs> it's like my, my brain is used to, to a whole different level of speed now. Okay, there's, there's one thing I have to pay attention to in a second, when I collect the gems. Okay, now well. Uh, there's one thing I have to pay attention to, and that is... Uh, after getting the world card, I have to quit out of the game such that the progress is safe. Because in... in uh, in route fighting, I did not do that. Ah, oh, come on. And I was wondering, like, why don't I have this card? I, I got this. I know I got this. And it was because it just didn't get saved. But now it should be. 591 gems, that's correct. Okay. Okay, now I do from 4 to 3. I collect the gems, that's correct. Okay, now I have to nail four real things. That's number one. Now I need three. That's correct. It should be correct. Yeah, it is. Now strength four. Nah, no, that's strength three. Fuck. Strength two. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Um, I just... Crystal clear gem. I need the Wampa fruit. I guess I'll just keep playing. Um, I'll replenish my money later on. Yeah, okay, I got it. So I'm 100 gems short. To keep that in mind. That was lucky. Yeah, that, 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 that was actually an interesting part of routing, especially these shops, the spinning wheel shops. Like if, you have to pick a seed where even if you mess up, um, you get, like you cycle through all the cards again as a backup. And of course not every RNG value does that. But apparently RNG value zero here. I mean, I routed it out. Um, so this uh, this has to be by design. I trust in my younger self. I, I trust uh, past me. So you can get the cards of the back. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's a ro robust, robust control. Okay, so I will... what will I do, actually? Other than 100 gems short. I think I will... Once I get to World 5, I'll play the gem minigame first. <laughs> well, Sam, I'm sorry to hear that. Sounds like quite a level of uh, self-estrangement, doesn't it? It's, it's genuinely frightening 
You know the fact that I cannot blame anything on the game anymore. Like any mistake I make, well, almost any mistake I make, um, is on me. It's like I'm the, as you so nicely put it, I'm, I'm the uncertainty now. <laughs> Something I have to come to terms with still. Now I have to get this gem to get the world card. Perfect. Uh, nope, I have to limbo. Actually, I'm, I'm not 100 gems short. I'm... I'm 46 gems short. Because when I missed the card, I got the gems in instead, which was like 54. So, although the two extra spins cost 100, 50 times 2, I still... I think the money situation isn't as dire, actually. It's a good, good point. Okay, now we reset. There's a nice little man up here. Waiting until the sheep turns around right there. Advances the RNG by, uh, by four. It's good because um, that basically gives us control over the small numbers. Three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm on the right seat. Still, I'm getting some of the money now. And as far as we know, nothing here advances the RNG seat. So we should be good. Uh, that's right, right, left. Yeah, perfect. That's a yellow card. It's right. It's right. Because we get the money. No, wait, it's not. No, 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 no. I messed up. Uh, I think I wrote the th wrong thing in live split. Okay, I'll have, I have to do that again. Okay, left is for money. I'll just get the other yellow cards real quick because I have to anyway. So not that the RNG is wrong, I just picked the wrong vase. Middle, yes. Middle and left. And left. Okay, now we have all the yellow cards. Uh, yeah, I have to do that again. real quick. Let's see our turn around by four. Limbo. I don't have to limbo, but still for consistency it's good to do so. Then I flame one, two, three, four. No, six. Not four, six. Six. Okay, now I have to get the gems first. Okay, and next is the card. Ah, it's left, not right. Okay, just to check, I have all the yellow cards, perfect. Now I can continue with the route. <laughs> ah, stupid, 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 stupid. 
Ah, hello. Pantoffeltierchen. Welcome to my first and probably also last stream of the year. <laughs> Cause I'm lazy. Honestly, I didn't expect to see myself live either, um, but here we are. And yes, fear, it should have been RLL. I mistyped. I have to correct that after the run or after I reset, whatever happens first. Any. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Most of my free time the last two weeks has been dedicated has been dedicated towards finding new skips in this game because we now have full control over the RNG or over the randomness in the game basically and that of course changes everything and should make the this run faster by 10 minutes 15 20 We did. We found. Um, oh, come on. We found out some previously unknown things about how randomness works in this game. Um, in rough terms, also that ball went right through the enemy. That's peak spiral fusion right there. And due to what we learned, and due to how the how randomness works in this game, how game handles randomness. Um, this, is, this allows us to manipulate it. Roughly speaking, we do certain inputs and the game is in a certain state always. So there's no, um, there's no randomness anymore. There's just certainty, if you will. Of how much time, the, the current world record is one hour, 27 minutes. And this run basically serves for us to see how fast um, this new route with the randomness manipulation would be. My estimate is 1 hour 10. Um, 1 hour 10, 1 hour 15. Could be less. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see. I wasn't standing on that platform, but okay. Big, big disagree right there. Uh, yeah, a minute or two is kind of hard to say. You're at the gym? Okay, then uh, enjoy working out. Is enjoy the right word? All the best working out? <laughs> Have fun working out? I don't know what's appropriate. Uh, you do the thing. You do the... The sport thing. <laughs> Enjoy the right word. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I have to play. I have to play this mini game until I have 624 gems. That's what the. <laughs> Basically, the same thing. Cool. Yeah, so here replenish gems to life 624, that's what the spell is about. Sam, what if I told you if I'm the exact opposite of what you just said? Would you be surprised? I don't think you would be.
Okay, two more. Interesting little side fact. Um, this mini game right here, the portal rush, used to be. XP portal rush? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It will also be featured at uh, Pop Run. So if you're tuning in, then yeah, see yourself there. Looking forward. Um, so this this mini game, Portal Rush in World 5, used to be the fastest way to get money. But now with RNG manipulation, it's not anymore. Um, because now the fastest way to get 900 gems, even with the additional walking or warping, is to go into World 3, into the Mystery Shuffle Shop. You know where you blindly pick a vase and you get whatever is under it. Uh, so you go into the Mystery Shuffle Shop and on a specific RNG value, you just always pick the vase. And that's, I think, like 30% faster than using Portal Rush to max out your gem count. But doing that is only, like, it's only re really worth it, worth it if. Um, it's only really worth it if you go from basically zero to basically max gems. Like what I did there was go to one, from 100 to 600 roughly. So I played it five times so that the um, difference isn't as significant. Because you also have to factor in that you have to soft reset the console. And that's a fixed amount of time. I almost died. That's crazy. What's the motion wheel? What, what does it even mean? Like, bro, what are you even saying? <laughs> That's crazy talk. Oh, also. Okay, so based on the current time, if I had to guess, I would say this run should clock in, clock in at a 1.15, uh, assuming gem hop goes well. Because there's Skywalker, which takes uh, 6 minutes. Then we are at, at, at the boss, but that one's quick, so we're at 1 hour. Gem hop ideal is like 3 minutes, and then, but then we still have to do the manip. Oh my god, I will, I will actually die here. I have to do the mana and all the other sheep levels. I think 110 for this should be. Should be good. Uh, 110, maybe 115. Oh, bro. <laughs> Could not die here, that would be appreciated. <sighs> Surprise startled this way. Sam, it's great how you're in tune with your emotions, you know. It's great to see that you know exactly what you're feeling, like you know precisely what your emotional state is. That is it's fantastic. It fills me with joy to see. Sadly, I don't have a clown's wig here or anywhere in my apartment. Um, but if I had, I would put it on now. Rest assured, I'm aware that I'm the funniest person alive. <laughs> Don't okay. The world card, yeah. Okay, now there's Skywalker. It's um, 
At least, uh, unless I die, Skywalker is six minutes. It's two minutes for each pass, roughly. Unless I'm misremembering. That's fine. I say that's fine, but it's not. Um, it shouldn't lose time, at least, but I'm still angry that the game clowned on me like that. I could jinx this minigame by saying that when I did route testing and thus also practicing, I guess, today, uh, this went surprisingly well. But now, of course, I have uh, skewed the odds and not in my favor, most likely. I actually didn't even need that rocket, that was, that was uh, stupid. Should still be fine, the level is almost over. And there's nothing else that can happen to me. Keep things at the top, cool. This was the easy pass, just for reference. <laughs> Also cool, cool, but also uh, it's not only cool, but also difficult. Because if you leave the ceiling too early to get that rocket, you land in the electric gate thing. But if you do it too late, you just miss. So it's always nice to get that one. That's by design. Okay. Getting it once is whatever. Actually, that's to be expected in that section. Like three health for now is, is more than more than enough. Okay, don't have a rocket now, but now I do. Still should be fine. Other things at the bottom. Third pass. Third pass should be the easiest, in theory. Counterintuitively, um, the reason it's the easiest is that everything's laid out. Like, there's no ambiguity. There's never the question, should I keep this rocket? Do I need it for later, or can I shoot it now? Which is why Skywalk the, the second pass of Skywalker is so difficult. Because you really have to memorize, oh no, I don't use that rocket here, I only, um, like, I have to keep it for later, these, these kinds of things.
Actually, not getting hit there is pretty good. I will take that. Well, getting hit there is... At, at this point... Um, at this point, I'm fine. But getting to the middle unharmed, and even passing the middle unharmed... That's the... That's the key to making... This minigame. I should hit me or the gate but whatever cool Okay. Now for the final RNG manipulation. And we go to world four. Oh, Endspurt, Freunde. Pass this guy. The cards four times. One, two, three. Four. Um, yes, maybe limo. Here, for example, no. And we flame seventeen times. Okay. This should be a green card, and it is. And it's left. I really hope there's no typo in here. If there's a typo, this will cost a massive amount of time. <laughs> Bro, your fucking mom is suboptimal. Like, the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Middle. Left and right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Quite rude indeed. Okay, right, and then left middle, left middle. Middle. Left and middle. Yes. Money is correct, cards are correct. Just to check, usually in the run I wouldn't do this, but right now. Yeah, get these cards later on and this is it, cool. Yeah, this is everything until now. So all we have to do is uh, jam hop now. <laughs> that should be easy, right? <laughs> Even if it takes me a while, I will finish this run. So even, like, I, it, it's not like I will reset. Unless I'm stuck here for one hour, then, may, then maybe I'll consider uh, practicing this. But I will, I will try to finish this. Just to initial splits and all of that. So I think I start with 89. Roundabout, maybe. Uh, do there exist platforms in this game? There's a funny thing you can do if you have access to the the game's memory. Um, there is. Unsurprisingly, a value where the game tracks. Nope. 
where the game tracks how many gems you have already correct collected, right? In in this mini game, so the game says okay, you start with zero, of course, and now you have like 43, whatever. And um, because that's a value, you can if you have cheat engine or whatever, um, you can manipulate that. So you can set that to 99. Uh, when starting, you can set it to 99. Ah, oh, that's risky taking that one down there. Um, so you start the game and it's already over. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Of course it doesn't do anything in runs, it's just... a fun thing to do. <laughs> but of no consequence. If I were a regular streamer, I would need a heart rate monitor for gem hop. Because my heart rate has to be around like 130 right now. Shouldn't be, it's just a stupid video game. But it is. <laughs> and that's a problem. First try! Let's go! It should be a 110. 110, 111? For a first run with all these. That's crazy. Honestly, that's crazy. Manipulating RNG saves like 20 minutes. At le saves at least 20 minutes. I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read chat. I'll keep up. Uh, I'll read up on it in a second. <laughs> That's that one. Breathing exercises, yeah, maybe. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Fucking, fucking. Good. Oh, come on. Why why wouldn't there be sheep in the trees? Like, when have you last been to a zoo? What do you do? What do you know about animals, honestly? Not a, not a filthy 
city child then. Thinking cows are purple and all of that, you know? You know how it is. Cool. Yeah, 20 more seconds and the run is over. Already. How can this be so fast? I just I just started the run, it's already over. That's lag, wow. Just to check, 120 cards. <laughs> oh, 112. I, I, I can't. I just, <laughs> I can't. You can, you can ignore the minus 49 minutes. Like these splits are ancient. As I said, well, previous world record was 127. So just do this run, it's already 15 minutes faster, and think of the mistakes I made. 